Good morning, guys. 37 days to New York City Marathon at the time of filming this video. So you guys see it one day later. So by the time you see this, it's 36 days. I think if I'm not making these calculations incorrectly. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. My name is Susie and this is I Run Things and we are vlogging every day leading up to the New York City Marathon. New York City Marathon is November 7th. I'm going to be vlogging till October 31st. There's a lot of noise in my neighborhood. Apologies for that. Today it's Friday and we have an easy run on the books. So we're going to make it really, really easy because yesterday we had a nine miles tempo run and it was actually really good. So I pretty much nailed the pace. So this is this. We are going to talk about my current shoe rotation. If you've been following me for a little while, you know that I was semi-injured. My arch on my right foot was hurting. And I achieved that to using my Ultra Escalantes on a long run and a 15 miler. Because after that, well during that run, really my my arch was hurting. Now, could it be that with other shoes, I would have had got that pain as well? Maybe, but that's what I I attribute it to, and I'm probably never gonna use them again <laughs> for a run. So they were my rotation; they're not anymore. I also need new glasses because these ones slide on my nose. Easy run, check, done. I don't know the exact pace. I'll put it up here so you guys can see, but I think it was good. And now I'm gonna show you my shoe rotation. Today I used the Mizu, Mizuha, Mizuna, Mizuna, the Wave Rider. I used to hate the shoes but I use them for my trail race, my 10 miler. 
that's why they're so filthy. They're about to break here, but I'm using them right now for my EC short friends, and I'm loving them, to be honest with you. They're super, they just keep my feet planted, so to speak. They just keep them stable. So the reason why you should have a shoe rotation is because if you're running often, if you're running every day, you really should be let the shoes rest for 24 hours before you use them again. That's the number one reason. The second reason is that every single different type of run should have a different shoe. So now I'm going to show you the shoes that I use for my speed training, for tempos, and then for my long runs. The next shoes I'm going to show you are pretty filthy as well. These are the Adidas Boston 9. I love these shoes so much. I own the 8 and these are the 9. There's not a lot of difference between the 8 and the 9. I like this foam. It's very cushiony i just really like the shoes and the way that i use this actually you're gonna see here it has the food pot i use them on my treadmill when i want to run faster on the treadmill so they're great shoes even obviously for outdoors i peered in this on a 10k and on a half marathon back in 2020 at the beginning of 2020 before the pandemic started so these are excellent shoes I am alternating this for speed workouts and tempo workouts. When I want to go faster, I use these, but mostly I've been using this on my treadmill. My third shoe that I rotate all the time are my Brooks Launch. I have owned Brooks, Brooks Launch, this model, God, I think this is the fourth iteration I've owned. I don't even know which number this is. Is it here? They're supposed to be for speed, neutral. I ran my two back-to-back -back marathons on the treadmill at the beginning of the year on these shoes. I just love them. They're super comfortable. I really, really like them. However, they're wearing out quickly. I am considering using this for a New York City marathon, but I would need to buy newer shoes because obviously these are pretty worn out. I think these are the seven, large seven. I am using a nine. Yes, guys, my foot has been growing with age. I don't know why. Because um, it used to be a seven and a half, but now I, I am a nine. And this is a medium. So, yeah, I can't believe I'm a nine, guys. I'm getting all sucks. They have the DNA cushioning. I just like the shape. They are super fast. I just, I really like the launches. Honestly, I think if I had to run in a shoe for the rest of my life, that would be the Brooks launch. Sorry, Adidas. I'm a huge fan of Adidas too, but I think the Brooks launch will take the cake. And now my friends, I'm gonna show you the latest shoe I have in my rotation. These I use a lot for speed. I like when I'm doing intervals. The shorter the intervals, the better. And these are the Reebok Flow Ride. I really like these shoes. I They're very minimalistic. There's nothing like super, high engineered not my point of view i think the launches for example have um, a lot more there's more engineering going into the design of your shoes those shoes or even the adidas boston i think the shoes are like as minimal as you can get them they remind me a lot to the six hyperspeed i ran in those shoes my first marathon ever the marine corps marathon i didn't do well in that marathon I hit the wall, but it had nothing to do with the shoes. So <laughs> I'm not going to blame the shoes for that. And these are a, what size is this? This is an eight actually. So I got downgraded, you guys. Yeah, these shoes are really, really good. They're super, super light. I just love them. I love these shoes. So which ones am I going to use for the New York City Marathon? I'm still undecided, but if I had to pick one of these four, the Mizuno, the um, Brooks, the Adidas, or these Reebok, I think it probably go right now with the Brooks launch just because they're an overall better shoe, I think, for a marathon. These are good shoes. The Adidas Boston are great shoes. They're just not for a marathon. I'm concerned about getting injured with uh, the shoes that are more minimalistic in nature. I have a question for you guys. Which shoes do you prefer to run long distance on? Which shoes would you choose? Which shoes would you recommend I use for the New York City Marathon?
If you enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe for more videos like this one. Remember, I am vlogging every day all the way till October 31st, leading up to the New York City Marathon. Run fearless, you guys. Yeah.